Jehovah Jireh You are my provider Jehovah Nisi Lord you reign in victory Jehovah Shalom You are my Prince of Peace And I worship you Because of who you are Lord I worship you Because of who you are Hello guys and welcome back to another video I know the last time I've been on this platform was the last time that I shared um, me shaving my hair and that was, that was hectic, I must say that was hectic. But I also want to say before I move on, um, that so much has happened since, and I'm sure you guys have seen the snippets before the video started, so much has happened since that video. And I just wanna pause right here and say thank you to each and every person that has been following this journey, that has sent me messages, that has been commenting below, that has reached out to me, whether it's through prayer, whether it's through checking in, whether it's through whatever means it was, sending me a song to just encourage me. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's really been, it's, it's really been overwhelming to see how much love I've received on this journey. And if it wasn't for you guys in my darkest days, you were an absolute light. You really made it so much easier for me to get through the toughest days. So I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And guys, since that video, like I said, it was it was weird seeing myself with no hair. Um, you've never, as a child or as a grown-up, you've never seen yourself. If you don't make that conscious decision or you're not faced with a life-threatening disease, you obviously will never see yourself with a bald head. So it was very weird for me because firstly, it wasn't my choice. This is what cancer has done to me and I've lost my hair because of the treatment. And I've always known that it's going to happen, but I didn't know it was going to happen that soon. And when it eventually did, I had so many emotional breakdowns. When I saw my hair in my hands, when I was in the shower, or when I wanted to comb my hair, I could see that it started to fall out. And it was literally after my first session. Um, I didn't even have my second dose of chemo yet, and my hair started falling out. And that was, it just showed how powerful the drugs were that they've given me. And it, so it took me a few days to obviously get used to the whole fact. I have posted some pictures on social media, but it's still the weirdest thing. I couldn't walk into my garden. I couldn't go to the post box because I didn't want people to see how I look, especially the neighbors. They didn't know my story and I didn't want them to see. So I opted for chemo caps and I always knew when that time would come for my hair to fall out, I wanted to have the chemo caps and I thought I'm gonna look cool. But guys, when I actually wore the caps, I felt like I looked like somebody that has cancer because we all have had an image or a picture in our heads of how cancer looks. And so I just tried to do my own thing, try to make it creative. Um, and I wore my chemo caps and then I had little scarves around it. I'll put some pictures up for you to see what I've done. Um, I didn't always post, but here's a few. And so, yeah, that was my look. So um, I just tried to, you know, wing it and to dress it up according to my style and to keep it as playful and as colorful as I could. So that was the gist of it. And as you can see, since then, my hair has grown. Um, yeah, I can like feel it like little spikes here. So guys, let's just take a moment for the hair. I, I mean, really, it's been a few months. Um, and I don't feel it's where I, need, I want it to be. It's not a complete pixie style or something, but the hair has grown back. And for me, that just, that just shows us once again, it shows me that nothing is permanent. 
that even though it felt like I lost my year, it felt like the biggest thing that has happened to me, it just shows that nothing is permanent. Everything that we go through in our lives is um, temporary and this is just an example of that. So yeah, I'm here now and after that video, I still had a few more um, chemo treatments I had to um, do and complete. And once that was finished, I had my third open reconstructive surgery for them to fix the bladder situation because remember what happened at the hysterectomy surgery. And I was in high care for two days where I had the most amazing care. I was attached to so many pipes and uh, machines and things like that for them to monitor my progress. And then I was moved down to my ward where I was there, I was there for about a week. And I just rested in the presence of the Lord. I just soaked it all in. Um, I had my moments where it was completely hectic and I just broke down. But God has been amazing and I pulled through. I was on a catheter and that was for another 17 days at home. And um, yeah, it was crazy because I didn't have to go and worry about toilet visits because guys, I wore the toilet on my leg. <laughs> that was weird. So I feel like everything I've always seen on other people has actually happened to me. And I, I will always say that cancer to me was the gift that kept on giving. If there was anything that you think cancer wouldn't do or cause, that is what I felt happened to me. Like always the opposite. There was no positive thing I could say or smooth sailing, if I should put it like that. This was not a, a journey that was smooth sailing at all. So I've had everything that would be associated with cancer. I've lost so much and that for me I will share in another video in terms of how this affected me mentally and emotionally. So um, after the, the surgery it took me another six to eight weeks to heal and recover and the doctor was very happy with that. The catheter was removed and then I had to start my radiation journey. So my radiation journey would be for 25 or 27 days. Every single day from a Monday to a Friday, I have to go to hospital and um, lay under the machine that rotates around your body. You don't feel it, it doesn't touch you. Um, but from a Monday to a Friday, I have to be at hospital to have the radiation done. So I have a week or so still left to complete the radiation and um, the next video you guys will see from me is the one where I'm ringing the bell. And guys, I'm so excited to actually be saying those words because remember the first time that I stepped into the chemo room, I witnessed one of the ladies ring the bell because it was her end and my beginning. And that was the one thing I looked forward to. And I'm almost there and I promise that it's something I will definitely share with you guys. I, I want you to see how this journey ends, um, a chapter that I can finally put behind me and be able to move on with my life. Um, I will continue to motivate as much as I can and inspire where I can and whenever I can. I believe that God has allowed this to happen on my path so that I can motivate and share with other women and other cancers, of, um, other people that's going through cancer to show that I am a survivor. So guys, um, I almost feel that this should have been a live video because I'm really just speaking from my heart. I haven't prepared anything concrete. I'm literally just speaking as the experience has unfolded. But I feel like maybe if there's any questions, um, you can maybe comment down below. And maybe I should go live, eh, baby, what do you think? Maybe I should go live sometime. I have no experience when it comes to live videos or going live. So it still freaks me out, but maybe it's something I should do. Um, for people that just want to ask some questions and I'm more than open to share whatever it is that you want to know. So guys, I just wanted to hop on here quickly to give you an update as to where I'm at because the next time you're going to see me, we are ringing that bell. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for sharing the video. To those of you who are new here and haven't been following the journey, please go and watch the other videos and you'll see 
where this all started and where we how far we've come and to those who always watch thank you so much for always sharing the love for always spreading kindness and for always showing your support towards myself my family and everybody else that's been part of this we love you guys i love you guys thank you so much for watching have a blessed sunday bye